all my grown up life, I've been helping people. I've started three major theater companies in my life for other people, not for me, for actors that I saw walking the streets with no place to go, actors that I saw, brilliant actors who could take a script and just make it come alive, not even having the opportunity to do that. That's why I started the Group Theater Workshop. That's why I started the Negro Ensemble Company. That's why I started the DC Black Repertory Company. I can do it, and I know I can do it. So I do it. I just go and I do it. And now it's done. All Those three companies that I just mentioned, they're all in the history books. I started teaching. I brought in some friends of mine uh, who were actors and a couple of writer friends and a dancer friend of mine who would teach them how to move on stage and all. And we actually then started the Group Theater Workshop. And that was the very first theater company that I, I started. And it was started right in my living room. As a matter of fact, uh, it, I knocked out a wall and built a stage in my, in my living room. Eventually, the landlord kicked us out because he realized he found out that we had knocked out a wall. But the kids and I did it together. We had crowbars and hammers, and we and we really, we really knocked out this wall very nicely and built a very nice stage. And that was the group theater workshop, and that's where we did our thing. And they came from all over. I think on on average there must have been maybe 70, 75 kids. Uh, and on Monday night, we would present an evening showcase of the group theater workshop at the Cherry Lane Theater, which is where I was doing Dutchman, right? So I made a deal with Edward Albee and Clinton Wilder to let me have the theater for a night to do this production. And we invited all the neighborhood people to come, right? And in that evening, there was a play that I had been working on trying to get done, written by Douglas Turner Ward. It was two plays, really, called Happy Ending and Day of Absence, okay? And we had been trying to get these plays done, but nobody would invest in them. And there were a couple of Doug's friends, white uh, producers that were friends of Doug's, that loved the plays but couldn't raise the money. So I took one of the plays, the short play, the first play called Happy Ending, and I directed that play as a part of the evening Turns out that Jerry Talmer, who was one of the top critics at the time for the New York Post, uh, Jerry Talmer, a fantastic man and a wonderful critic, uh, came that night. We didn't invite him. He just came that night. And he came and he saw this evening with these young kids. And he saw that play, Happy Ending. Jerry Talmer, the next day, wrote an article, a, a review, in the, in the New York Post, raving about this new group that Robert Hooks has started this new group and this play that they ended the evening with called Happy Ending was just blew me away and he went on and on about this play, Happy Ending. And we read the reviews and we went through the roof, you know, and I said to Douglas Turner Ward, who of course was my, by that time we were, we were true friends, because we had been reading his play, trying to get, you know, people to support it. And uh, I said, look, Doug, do you see this review? And this is just kids doing this. Let me try to produce this play, please. And I took that play, Happy Ending, with its companion piece, Day of Absence, which is the funniest play. And I went out and I raised the money myself to produce those plays. And I produced those plays off-Broadway, and they became the biggest hit since The Blacks off-Broadway. And that was the beginning of everything. That was the beginning of the Negro Ensemble Company. That was the beginning of my production uh, you know, arm. Uh, it was the beginning of everything. And I didn't realize I had it in me. But, you know, find your dream, follow through on that dream, and believe me, you'll make something out of your life that's the way it is. That's why God puts you down here, to make something out of your life. There's a whole lot of help out there for you. All you have to do is realize in your own head, in your own mind, that's what I have to do to make my life better. 
and you go and you do it. There are people out there to help you do it. Come to me, I'll help you. There are people that will help you get your life or your shit together. <laughs>